48. A song, a psalm of sons of Korah. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise in the city of our God, his holy mountain. Beautiful in its loftiness, the joy of the whole earth, like the heights of Zaphon in Mount Zion, the city of the great king. Great is in her citadels. He has shown herself to be her fortress. When the king joins forces, when they advanced together, they saw her and were astounded. They fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, pain like that of a woman in labor. You destroyed them like ships of Tarshish, shattered by an east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of our Lord God Almighty, in the city of our God. God makes her secure forever. Within your temple, O God, we meditate on your unfailing love. Live your name, O God. Your praises reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Mount Zion rejoices. The villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments. Walk about, Zion. Go around her. Count her towers. Consider well her ramparts. View her citadels that you may tell of them to the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. Amen. There's a lot of misinformation about what's happening here in the Middle East. And the reason there's so much misinformation is because people look at the conflict from a political point of view. Uh, a lot of people will explain to you that this is a conflict about land. That if we just give up land or divide land or give away land, then we can find a political peaceful solution. And it's not the case. Since 1911, we, we've divided the land 22 times and it's brought nothing but death and destruction to the people of Israel and the people around us. And the reason is, is because the real conflict here is a biblical conflict. And the fact that it's a biblical conflict is what makes this work, the work of the Knesset Christian Allies Caucus here in the Knesset, the work of the Israel Allies Foundation around the world, so crucial in this battle. And it's also the reason why we're starting finally, because of the, the Trump administration and the people who understand these issues, we're finally starting to win this battle.